Last night on the show, we did a segment on Rush Limbaugh attacking Mitt Romney for admitting that global warming is real. Now, I don't agree with Romney on much, but I defended him there because he's factually correct. And of course, Limbaugh has no idea what he's talking about. But I said in a fight between facts and Rush Limbaugh, Republican voters were more likely to side with Rush. Bit of a compliment, really. He apparently did not take it that way. The guy that had this 99.9% uh, uh, of scientists agree, what, who is, there's, the, the, purely untrue, bogus, and the guy that said that was Sink Uger. I don't know what a Sink Uger is. I don't know where a Sink Uger works. C-E-N-K, so how you pronounce the first name. I'm not even sure I'm pronouncing a last name right. It's U-Y-G-U-R. I'm just guessing it's Sink Uger. 99.9% .9 of all statistics are made up. I love that. Statistics, they're all made up. Look, Rush, let me educate you a little bit. First, I work at MSNBC, as you can see here. I also work at The Young Turks. You should check it out online, theyoungturks.com, if you like. Look, Cenk is a hard name. I get it. And Rush has a hearing problem. It's all that oxycontin. Rush, let me help you out. The C is pronounced like a J, so it's Cenk. But hey, you know what? He got Uger right, so we're making progress, as Bush would say. We're making progress. This is what he went with last time he tried. Robert B. Reich. <laughs> Was on MSNBC Live last night with the, with the anchor, uh, Sink Uyghur. Well, this time you got Uger right. Hey, very good. And making fun of my name, very clever. It's almost as clever as when Paul Calamia said it to me back in third grade. <laughs> I remember my principal got it wrong. He called me Sanka. I got called Sanka for a whole year. You're not going to phase me with the name. But now on to the much more important matter, how pathetically wrong Rush is on climate change. But again, I'll be fair, I was a little off. It turns out, according to the National uh, Academy of Sciences, 97% of scientific experts agree climate change is very likely caused by human activity. And the facts don't lie. According to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, from 1900 to 2009, the average global surface temperature rose approximately 0.7 degrees Celsius or 1.3 degrees Fahrenheit. Rush, global warming is real. It's pronounced Cenk Uger. Now go back to the OxyContin.